Human behavior can be a mystery. Why do people and organizations behave in certain ways? Or make funny decisions that are hard to understand? Behavioral economics or insights are helping public bodies across the world to answer these questions and deliver better policies for better lives. Behavioral insights is not a trend. It's being rooted in public bodies all around the world. The OECD has already collected over 150 case studies. Public institutions have used behavioral insights in these sectors and more. It has been widely used to help in the implementation of policies and rules. Those using behavioral insight should adopt a set of standards to maintain the integrity, relevance and impact of behavioral approaches. The OECD has provided guidance on this. 1. Be strategic and systematic. 2. Start with good, reliable data. 3. Validate through replication. 4. Apply to segments of society for special or targeted interventions. 5. Evaluate. 6. Publish results, good and bad. Behavioural approaches should move beyond looking at the individual and focus on organisational behaviour in industry, regulated firms and public institutions. To find out more about the behavioural work at the OECD, go to our webpage and learn how behavioural insights are giving a nudge to better policies and better lives. There's no doubt that behavioral science will revolutionize public policy in the near future. But integrating a scientifically valid understanding is not only about tweaking letters or providing quick fixes. It's about fundamentally changing the way we understand and hence regulate behavior in complex markets and institutions. I'm pleased to welcome the OECD report since it is a great contribution to the development of behaviorally informed policies. CONSOB has long been engaged in the understanding of how behavioural insights may enhance the effectiveness of financial disclosure, rules of conduct and investor education. Having the chance to read about other jurisdictions and regulators' experience is key. Sometimes public policies fail because they don't take into account the gap between citizens' intentions and their actions. This gap can be bridged using behavioural insights which nudge citizens towards the aim of a public policy, which is to ensure the common interest. If you want to know more about these public policies, read the report. Read the report. Just last year, uh, here at the Commission's Joint Research Center, we published the BIAP report, focusing on European applications and calling for a broader sharing of information. Uh, this new OECD publication, uh, it's a definite step uh, in this direction. Its key contribution, uh, in my view, uh, is the gathering of a large number of case studies with a concrete uh, and specific focus on crucial aspects such as methodology, results and uh, impact. As an energy and water regulator, we are thrilled to have been able to contribute to this report that provides a unique source of information on applying behavioral insight to policy. Fostering consumers to improve how they daily manage energy is one of the most important actions which may be put in place to fight climate change. Energy matters and behavioral insights may support in that the wonderful case studies and the great ideas of how to institutionalize BI help us to better serve governments and communities. We're also very happy to see that the work that we're doing in Moldova with behavioral insights has been captured in this report. Thanks again for the launch of the report and looking forward to working with you. I would like to congratulate OECD colleagues for this nice overview. Hope you will enjoy reading it.